Ah! <laughs> She's back. Hey guys, Cherokee is here and welcome to a game called Ukiko. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm gonna say it Ukiko. I don't care. <laughs> it's a new game that just just released on Ichio like, I don't know, a couple hours ago maybe. And I'm fucking excited to try it. I don't know why I swear a lot. I'm sorry. Before we start the video, I just want you to know that you should like the video and watch it all the way through. And you should comment your feelings about it, and maybe you should also subscribe to the channel. It's a dead channel anyway, you're not losing anything. Those fingers of yours, the ones that you tap on your little keyboard with them, they're gonna be safe. No one's gonna harm them. I don't bite, my channel doesn't bite, no one bites. So with that being said, let's click on start. I'm very excited. A famous doll named Okiko is stolen from a temple by Hako, the owner of sake bar and restaurant. He believes the doll will help his fa failing business and bring more customers. Shortly after bringing the doll to the restaurant, strange and horrifying events begin to occur. Hako is forced to temporarily close the restaurant. He then finds y you, Minato. Ooh, I'm Minato, a young student with an interest in myster in mysteries and the paranormal. That's fucking me. <laughs> I mean, I don't believe in them, but I'm always interested. Hako tells you he will pay you if you can solve the mystery and calm the spirit of the doll down. You head out one evening on your scooter to begin your investigation. Will you solve the mystery? Or become another victim of Ukiko. I'm confident that I'm not gonna be a victim. Okay, let, let the game load the assets. Okay, finally I'm here. I think my uncle Haku left his pe- I didn't read that fully. And apparently the owner is our uncle. I'm lagging a little bit. Hold on, let me try to fix this. Okay, I don't think it's better, but we're just gonna roll with it. Can we run? We can. We can crouch, uh, but we can jump. Sake bar. By the way, I, I don't think any Japanese person will end up watching my channel, or anyone actually end up watching my channel. But sake is fucking gross. I love Japan, I love a lot of Japanese things, but Sake is not one of them. It said that the spare key is somewhere, but I wasn't fast enough to read it. Because I was reading out loud. So there's that. It should be somewhere near, right? You would think. Ooh, I found it. You do examine front door key. It looks like a fucking cool key. How about that? Huh, let's take it. Yeah, sure. What is this? There's an ant here. It's an ass ant. <laughs> Damn. We need to call the exterminators. Let's go in, boys. And girls. A lot of girls are playing horror games actually better than boys, so that's actually a very good thing. You can hide under tables. Do I have to hide? Can I steal from uncle? <laughs> Read. 10 etiquette rules to follow in Japanese restaurants. No shoes on the tatami. Okay, I don't know what tatami is, but sure. Rest chopsticks on the holder wrapper or side of a tray. Okay. Don't mix wasabi into your soy sauce. Never do that. I I never do that, even though I have no idea what the hell. Don't place half eaten food back on your plate. Yeah. I never fucking do that either. Use the pickled ginger as a palate cleanser. Yeah, I don't like pickled ginger. Place chopsticks parallel to the plate at the end of your meal. Okay. Fill guest glass before. What the fuck was that? You know I don't care about this anymore. 
I don't care about the rules. I, I don't want to die. I just heard something. Okay, maybe we're in a really spooky game. I should take it a little more seriously. I'm gonna close this. We don't want any rodents to come inside. Sake bottle. Ooh. I don't like that Q is interacting. Another sake bottle. Sake container, like all of them are just sake things. Why, why am I interacting with them? Frame rate is dropping again. <laughs> the f fuck was that? I hate this. <laughs> I, <laughs> oof. I don't know, maybe today is the day that I'm getting really scared. Like, what the hell is that noise? Damn. Ooh. That's, that's fucking freaky. Japanese coin. Okay, more like about. Someone left sushi here. Who the fuck leaves sushi like that? This one in the fridge. I'll throw it in the trash. What the f what the fuck? Can I can I take the coins? Can't. Said that I could hide under. Ooh, fish. Lovely little fishies. I can read it. A picture of Hawkus koi fish from his tea garden at his house. Okay. Is this more important? Lore, page two, okay. Where's page one first? Let's read page two because I don't know if I'm gonna find it again. Then a year later, tragedy struck. The little girl who owned the Ukikoto died. Yellow fever had descended on the land and robbed the family of their little girl. Ooh. The little girl died gasping for air in pain and afraid. But the doll was held firmly in her grasp. She was only seven years old. The family wanted to bury the doll along with Okiko. But circumstances and governmental oversight prevented this last act of kindness on their part. The doll was never laid to rest with Okiko and was instead brought to an ancient temple. Okay, it should be an, an ancient temple, but we don't care. I mean, I, I'm not speaking with what the... What? Am, am I? Am I? Am I seeing things? Something was here. I was paying attention to the coin because I'm fucking greedy, I guess. Hey, how? How do I hide under? Ooh, I can hide like this. Okay, let's see. There's nothing here. What? Who's flickering the fucking light switch? Hello? Let's... Well... Let's leave for now. I don't want to leave this spot to be honest. Like... Okay, I don't have to crouch to... Hi, that's very good to know. Okay, what are we searching for exactly? Ooh, the VIP rooms. I would guess, I don't know. I've never been in a Japanese restaurant. I'd love to go to Japan at some point in my life. Hopefully next year. Japanese! Okay, what's that? Need bar area key, okay. So those were the bar area. Not the VIP rooms. Okay, where are you? Another sake container. Like everything else here. Now, if I'm a key, where would I be? I mean, what? The? Okay, it's a radio. Show cursor. Let's try and do that. What? what? 
I'm sorry I don't speak Japanese. I don't know what you're saying, lady. I'm just gonna turn it off for now. I heard some... I heard something walking next to me. I'm getting goosebumps, god damn it. Is this the lower one? Yes. The young man purchased the doll that would later on claim the name of Ukiko as her own. She claimed the name as her own. That's... <laughs> that's a sign for you. The fuck? I hate this noise. It's like a pig. Oof. Okay. But <laughs> for his two-year-old sister, the doll was brought to Sapporo by a 17-year-old for his two-year-old sister, Ukiko. Okay, the girl name is Ukiko. Okay, sorry, I, I misunderstood there. He was touring the region of a maritime exhibition, and the doll instantly drew his eyes. The perfect little thing sat on his shop window, enticing him. He didn't think twice, he went in and instantly purchased the figurine. I had footsteps. Oh no. I, is that Okiko? Can, can I continue reading this please before you kill me? Thank you. Thank you for your patience. I even used the last of his money for it. At about 40 centimeters tall and dressed in a traditional kimono, the doll was exquisite. Its hair was raven black and cut to roughly shoulder length. In a traditional ukapa hairstyle, I don't know what ukapa is, but fine. The eyes like piercing coals. I don't think you need to make a tour out of that, but okay. That seemed to swallow everything up in their gaze. The doll was mesmerizing and enhancing something that took your breath away. Just like the girl died, her breath was taken away, huh? He went back home and gave the doll to his little sister. The sister fell in love with the doll immediately. It transformed into Ukiko's favorite toy, and more importantly, her best friend. Ukiko played every day with the doll, took it everywhere and treated the figurine like a little sister. She would talk and pray with the thing, feed it, sleep with it. She decided to call the doll Ukiko, a mirror duplicate of herself. The doll never left Ukiko's side. Okay, and we learned that after that she died of yellow fever, right? A picture of Haku, the owner of Sake Bar and Restaurant. Minato, that's me. I'm very thankful Haku chose you to investigate his place. Haku is actually my uncle, which is why he chose me for the job. Convenient. He knows I love mysteries and the paranormal, and I know the danger of doing this job. I don't think you know. I highly don't believe that. A picture of Haku's wife. You are helping out in the restaurant and serving customers. Okay. Okay. I see. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> Please. What have I done to you? Now, where's the damn key to the bar area? Let me cut to where something happens. Oh, I thought, I thought that was someone. It's just a fucking sad oof. Like, hi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Examine. The jukebox. Yeah. Use. Yeah. Go. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Okay, we're in the toilet. I mean, it can't be empty, right? Like, there should be something somewhere. Can I poop? Can I flush? Is there something that I'm not seeing? No. There's not. 
I don't understand. What am I supposed to do? Is this my cue to hide? I think it is. Let's hide. And where is she? Hey, that was a long laugh. The Dookie car. I want to go to the bar area, but how? Hi. You know, you're not that creepy after all. <laughs> Are you gonna taunt me? Are you gonna keep jumping between those two? I don't care about that. Are you in the toilet? Just gonna close the door on you, how about that? <laughs> Hmm. That's the only thing. What the fuck? Look who's angry at me. I won't give up this investigation. I'll look outside for electricity. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go the fuck outside. I'm never coming back here. Wait. Bye! <laughs> Ooh. Why, why, why is this game scaring me? I don't understand. Fuck. Fuck are you? Oh, okay. Oof. You're a poofer after all. Where is she? Is still burning? You are. Investigate tea rooms and avoid Okiko. How can I avoid her? She's right there. Are those the tea rooms? I don't know. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck, I'm stuck. Fucker. Ow. Shit. I'm dying, I think. Fucking hell. Ooh. What the fuck are you? Can I go outside now? I think I'm dying. I need to... Maybe hide? I can't hide anymore? I can't hide anymore. Can I lose her? I'm so sorry that that triggered you again. Okay, what's here? What's here? Ow! It's gonna kill me! Motherfucker, who are you? Why are you helping her? Okay, I'm dead. What the fuck is that? Yeah, I'm just gonna die and next time I'm not gonna trigger you. Because you're so annoying. Maybe not. Oh, sacrifice. What about you, buddy? You're laughing, huh? Oh, you're happy too? Can I hide here? Okay, I'm hiding, I guess. She's leaving! She's leaving! She's still looking at me! But she left at least. Let's get the fuck out of here. This is so unnecessary. 
Damn it, avoid the Ukiko is not that easy when once she sees you she's just fucking your life up. Can I close the door? Please tell me I can close the door no. Buddha or whoever you are. Examine. Seven. One. Seven one three. Hey buddy. You okay? Yeah she's gone. She's she doesn't give a shit. Seven one three, right? Show cursor, yes. Uh hurry up. I don't want to be another chase with her. She sucks. I don't know why she's so freaky. Okay, there's a key here. Take, what kind of key is that? Is this for the bar area? Should be, right? Oh, uh, is she still here? Yes, she is. You fucking bitch. Why are you so freaky? Okay, the bar was here, right? Mud. She phases through that. I need to hide. I'm gonna stay in my ass if I don't hide. What the fuck is that? Mother. She caught me. No, she didn't. Okay, that was just a jump scare. I need to hide somewhere. Oh, she's saving. Oof. Bye. <laughs> Please never come back again. She's standing there. It's not going any further. Let's just read this note. She can't fuck out. You go page four. Maybe this is page three. Open it. Yes. Look, you got the doll was first moved to the family's altar. A common practice in certain Japanese households to commemorate the dead. The small shrines celebrated their daughter and marked her passing into the afterlife. Okay. That's when the strange events started to occur. One day the family started to notice that the doll's hair was getting longer. Creepy. Creepy as hell. One traditional should shoulder lint cut with neat ends, now a mangled mess of split ends reaching down past her waist. Ooh. It was scruffy, different colors, and felt different. At night, they started to dream of Ukiko, and sometimes the doll would appear by their side. Come morning, okay. The chilling events intensified and grew into full-blown acts of spiritual invest infestation. That's flickering on and off, banging on the house, in the house noises and strange voices. Things been set on fire. That's. <laughs> That's very, that's very troublesome. And even Okiko duplicating herself and showing up multiple places, like now. Is she coming back? The closer the year got to certain key dates, Okiko's birthday and the day of her death. Over time, they were certain and town shamans, spiritual leaders, concurred that their daughter's soul was in fact trapped within the door. Okay. Then what happened? Many years later, the family relocated to a different district. They had by now become accustomed to Okiko and had even grown fond of their daughter's restless spirit. To them, it was magical and unique opportunity to interact with the dead, not desiring to take Okiko with them, fearing that what fueled her magic was the proximity to their daughter's grave okay the family approached the local temple and asked them to take care of the doll the temple by now had heard countless stories of the amazing doll the haunted doll whose hair grew every year uh, okay 
They were fascinated. The, pri the priests accepted the charge and started taking care of Ukiko. Over time, they've managed to confirm the veracity of some of the claims. But clearly, that the hair does indeed grow. Very fucking creepy. The priests even sent out cut samples of the hair for scientists, scientific analysis. Scientific examination of Ukiko proved that the hair was that of a human child. Regularly the hair gets a trim and the doll stays happy and content. As years passed on, the doll's fame grew and her powers further developed. She is bolder now, invading the dreams of the priests and those that come to visit her. She's stronger, her hair growing faster and wilder. The last event driving tourists mad is the frightening claim is that the mouth of Ukiko is slowly opening and that if you dare to peer inside you may be able to glimpse something like baby teeth spouting like weeds from personal gums. <laughs> oh, have, you, have you seen baby teeth? They're so creepy. She's not shutting up. There must be something here that I need to do, right? There should be something here. Okay. Okay. Can't crouch anymore. I don't know why. I really don't know why I can't crouch anymore. Guess I don't have to. Hi! I've heard of Okiko, but who the hell are you? What the fuck is wrong with you? Okay. Where's my objective now? There's a lot of you! There's a lot of this! Small little fox. Do you have some... Do you mind? Trying to... Do something, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing, actually. So fucking freaky. Hate the Ukiko. Is there anything I can do here? What the hell? Oh, it's just burning. Uh, okay, the whole place is burning. Escape sake bar and restaurant. Yes, yes, please. I'm just gonna run my ass away. Where is she? There she is. Bye! Never coming back again. Ever. So I'm just gonna leave. How do I leave? I'm just leaving. You, motherfucker. Who are you? Hi. What the fuck? Who the fuck are you? Bye. What? We go claimed another soul? I'm gonna retry this shit. <laughs> now, does it save any of my progress? Please, I don't wanna go through all this again. Please. Okay, I'm gonna have to do all this shit again. I'm gonna try to do it as fast as I can. Oh, it's you. You were making these noises. See her. Is she coming after me? I replayed the whole part again. And what? I escaped. She caught me again, didn't she? Protective Mario of Okiko's mom brought Minato into the spirit room forever. The door Okiko and her spirit as well as the other girls.
I guess what? I mean, it's freaky. Hold on, I'm gonna do this real quick so I can talk about it. So this was booking call. I don't understand what happened at the end. The first time I kind of joked her and I went up, like jumped outside into like this empty space. And she claimed my soul. I guess. And the second time I was caught by her mom and she took us all to the spirit room. I'm gonna have to reread that, but probably like something like that, right? Well, with that being said, okay, cool. That's a fantastic small indie war game. I pretty much enjoyed it, and I had it. I had, I had real jump scares in this one. Like I literally was on my toes, like in the end segments. Oh, it was ooh, a lot of goosebumps. If you are watching this video and you reach this far, make sure to join our channel. Like, I don't know, maybe subscribe and watch all the other videos. They're all same quality, not that great. <laughs> but you get the point that I'm trying to say. And with that being said, just like your parents tell you and your grandparents tell them, and everyone's telling everyone nowadays, shoot for the stars.